Ancient Greece Facts Ancient Greece was a northeastern Mendician, existing from the Greek Dark Ages of the 12th-9th centuries BC to the end of Classical Antiquity C600 ad, that comprised a loose collection of culturally and linguistically related city-states. Most of these regions were officially unified only once, for 13 years, under Alexander the Great Emperor from 336 to 323 BC. Classical Greek culture, especially philosophy, had a powerful influence on Nancy and Rome, which carried a version of it throughout the Mediterranean much of Europe. For this reason, classical Greece is generally considered the cradle of Western civilization, Thesamanal culture from which the modern West derives many of its founding archetypes and ideas in politics, philosophy, science, and art. Classical antiquity in the Mediterranean region is commonly considered to have begun in the 8th century BC around the time of the earliest recorded poetry of Homer and ended in the 6th century ad. Classical antiquity in Greece was preceded by the Greek Dark Ages C1200 C800 BC, archaeologically shikirachechechur C by Thepertogeometicame style soft designs on pottery. Following the Dark Ages was the Archaic period, beginning around the 8th century BC, which saw early developments in Greek culture and society leading to the Classical period. The Classical period is characterized by a classical style, that is, one which was considered exemplary by later observers, most famously in Theperthenonoph Athens. Politically, the classical period was dominated by Athens and the Delian League during the 5th century, but displaced the Spartan hegemony during the early 4th century BC, before power shifted to the San Thebiotian League and finally to the League of Corinth by Macedon. Following the classical period was the Hellenistic period 323146 BC during which Greek culture and power expanded into Thenian Middle East from the death of Alexander until the Roman conquest. The historical period of ancient Greece is unique in world history as the first period attested directly in comprehensive narrative history, while earlier ancient history or proto-history is known from much more fragmentary documents such as annals, king lists, and pragmatispigraphy. Herodotus is widely known as the father of history, his stories are eponymous of the entire field. Written between the 450s and 422nds BC, Herodotus' work reaches about a century into the past, discussing 6th century historical figures such as Darius, I of Persia, Cambus's Eon Samtic III. Ancient Greece was split up into lots of city-states, some of which you might have heard of. Some of the more popular ones are Sparta, Athens, and Olympia. Each city had different laws, government, and even their own army. In ancient Greece, it is believed that a man called Phidopides ran 26 miles from Marathon to Athens. He wanted to announce the news of the victory of the Battle of Marathon. This is where the race comes from and why it is so long. About one-third of the ancient Greeks were slaves. In Sparta, the state-owned slaves called helots. They had to grow crops and were forced to give some of what they grew to the state. 